guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. We're going to create a custom winter palette. I personally feel that this is like my perfect winter palette that I've created. Let me give you like a close up on how these shades look. And then we'll dive right into the swatches of this palette. But because I have like people who are like working on my house, there'll be a lot of noise. So I'll put my swatches intro here and then we'll create this eye look using this palette. So let's dive right in. Okay, so this custom curated palette uh, is like 12 shades as you can see. I've just fitted in the same color story, but I'm going to dip into like a few other palettes, like for three shades from other palettes, just because I wanted to show you all the palette together, how it's going to look. And that's the only reason why I put in all these shadows together so that you have like a gist of how this palette would look. So let's begin. The first shadow actually is from Luxy Beauty and this is called Cookie Dough. I really wanted like a cool tone color story for this and this is an iridescent multichrome that shifts to like a blue shade actually like a blue pinky purple you can see a strong blue but I see like a strong pinky purple from my side and you can use this as a face highlighter too like it's a, such a beautiful shade so definitely wanted to include that as my first shade the next shade is from KKW Beauty's Classic Blossom Palette and this shade is called Tree which is like a light mauve shade. So let me swatch this. This is the beauty about like creating your own color story just because it looks like all new when I'm like using this. So I definitely want it and I use this shade quite a bit after I like depotted it into another palette. So that is Classic Blossoms tree again it's a very light mauvey shade especially this is the shade that i have like all over like my transitioning shade you'll see it in the tutorial the next shade in the palette this dark blue shade actually i picked it out from the age of opulence palette only because i could not depot this i used another shade and this shade is what i really want this is curfew so let's watch that and this is like a deep dark blue shade and that's exactly what I want for like deepening up the outer corners. It's like borderline black, but with like a blue, obviously. The next shade in the palette is the shade that I have all over my eyelid. And this is from Sydney Grace. And this is called Wondrous Nights. This can take like a neutral cool tone color story. It's like a neutral bronze, but like in the cool color family. And this is Wondrous Nights. So let's watch that. Such a beautiful creamy shade. Look at that. I absolutely love the shade. The next shadow is from Pretty's For Your Face. This one, and the shade is called Rock Biter. It's like a blue green, but it has like a strong a maroon base to it so let me swatch this I really really love this and this actually like dupes the vibe of the uh, Pat McGrath's Moonlit, Moonlit Seduction palette you know the special shade that they have look at that really really pretty shade the next shadow in the palette is also from KKW Beauty's Classic Blossom and the shade is called Season. So let's watch that. It's more of like a burgundy brown. And this will definitely go with like any neutral looks or any mauve looks. Really, really pretty. There you go. I definitely wanted like this palette to have mid-tone shades, deepening shades. And that's the main reason why I included this. The next shade in the palette is a shimmer shade. But this is not the shade that I'm going to include. I'm going to include a shade from my Sugar Drizzle Milf palette. And the shade that I'm including is called Lily Pad, which is this one. And this is like a green to a blue duochrome shifting shade. So let's watch this. And such, it has so much sparkle to it too. Like, can you see that green to a blue duochrome? It's really, really pretty. Definitely wanted to include that and you can pair this with this maroon shade or with that blue shade. It'll go so good with this palette vibe. I love it. 
The next shadow that I wanted to include is a deeper green shade. This one and this is from the Colourpop at Forest Side palette with in collaboration with Raw Beauty Christie. And the shade is called Emerald City. So let's watch this. And this shade for winters is so pretty. Look at that. The next shadow in the palette is also from Sydney Grace and this is called Adore Me. So let's swatch this. I love to wear mauves as like a one and done shade and this is like perfect, perfect in my opinion. And this paired up with those blues would also be so pretty. There you go. The next shade is also from Sydney Grace and this is like a purpley mauvey shade and this is called Go For It and I love, oh my god, I, I don't even know what to say about this shade. This is so pretty, so, so pretty. Look at that. Oh my god, that is stunning. If I say so myself, such a pretty shade. The next shade is actually the one from the Gourmand Girls Ethereal palette, but it's a very uh, similar shade to this. And this is like a purple to a blue shifting shade. So let me show this to you. And this is from the Ethereal palette and the shade that I'm talking about is called Nova. So let's watch this. If you do not have this shade, you also can find a very similar shade in the MILF palette from Sugar Drizzle. And the shade would be called Bond, this one. So let's swatch from the Ethereal palette. Obviously I wanna show as much shades and palettes that I can to you guys. And this has so much sparkle in it. Look at that. Really, really pretty. And last, certainly not the least, the last shade in the palette is again from Luxie Beauty and the shade is called Monarch. Now, if you want to take this palette to a warmer tone color story, I feel like this is such a beautiful shade. It has like that rosiness to it, but in the warm tone color story, such a pretty shade. It definitely is like a bronzy shade, but with a rose undertone. Look at that. Ah, oh, so, so pretty. And this is my winter palette that i curated for you guys do let me know in the comment section below how do you like this palette i really 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 loved creating this for you now without further ado let's move on to the eye looks created with this palette let's begin i'm so excited to do this eye look let's see how it turns out i don't have anything like specific in my mind but let's start off with this shade and i'm gonna mainly focus this on the inner part of the crease so as you can see, it definitely is like a taupe, but it has like that pinky undertone to it, which I absolutely love. I'm also going to take the same shade on my lower lash line. Now with the same brush, I'm going to take this shade, which is Sydney Grace Adore Me, and I'm going to take that lower than the shade that we just applied this is because i definitely do want like that pinkiness to show through too also going to take the same shade on the lower lash line and i'm going to take that navy blue shade from the age of opulence palette which is curfew and start building my outer corners with it I'm slightly tapping it and blending it across the outer corners. I'm also going to take the same shade on my lower lash line. But I'm only going to focus this on the outer corners of the lower lash line. Just like that. Now to get a little hint of green in the look, I'm going to take this green shade from the Raw Beauty Christie palette at Forest Side palette. 
and I'm gonna just start putting that green shade melting it with that blue just so that the transition is from the green to blue don't worry about the blending the edges because we are going to go back to adore me and just blend out the edges just like that I'm going to take the initial shade that we used, Adore Me, and just blend the edges. I'm going to take this shade, also from Sydney Grace, just to get a little bit more cool tone look. Obviously, you can go in like so many different directions from here. Because we have that green, you can dip into that green shade. Or you can dip into that duochrome purple blue shade. I just want to go a little more cool tone and in the neutral family. And this wondrous night shade is really, really pretty. And paired with green or that blue, it's going to look very nice. I'm going to take this green shade and just tight line my lower lash line. And just melt the outer corners with that green shade. Just so that the blend is seamless. Now for the inner corners, I'm going to dip into the lightest shade in the palette. This one. This one. Just take a tiny little bit because it's super, super pigmented. And just take that in my inner corners and that will give something something to the inner corners with like a blue shift this is Luxie's cookie dough now I'm going to finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back and that is my final eye look I really hope that you guys enjoyed this winter palette that I created myself and this eye look too. If you did like this video, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week, every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9am Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.